Faye, thank you very much indeed. Uh, John Penrose is the Conservative MP for Western Supermare. He joins me on the line now. John, good morning to you. Good morning, John. Thanks for joining me this morning on BBC Radio Bristol. Um, Margaret Thatcher, what does she mean to you? Well, I'm someone who really only got involved in politics after she had left the scene. I mean, it's, it's funny because she cast such a long shadow, but she has not been this country's Prime Minister for 23 years or something since she stood down. So it's a very long time back. And for those of us who arrived after she left, it's extraordinary the shadow she still cast. I mean, I only met her a couple of times, but each time, even when she was an ex-Prime Minister, she'd walk in the room. And two things always struck you. First was, physically, she was tiny. She was five foot one, I guess, something like that. Very small of stature. But secondly, my goodness me, what a personality. She's the sort of person she walked in and everybody's head turned uh, just, to, just to see what, you know, who, who it was who was exerting this sort of huge force. So she was a, an extraordinary person, even when she was an ex-Prime Minister. And as a, as a woman, of course, she was the first leader, female leader of the, a mainstream yeah. political party, and of course the first female Prime Minister. Uh, much has been said in the last uh, 24 hours or so that we'll never see her like again. Is it, is it possible that we'll have another Margaret Thatcher, another a female leader? A, a, a Theresa May, for example. Uh, I, I sincerely hope we do have another female leader of any party, uh, but at some point in the future I think it would be um, yeah, Britain is a lot fairer place now than it was when she became Prime Minister, it's still not perfectly fair by any manner of means, but I'd hope that more women would have more of a chance to get right to the top um, than she did. Um, so, yeah, I really hope we have more female leaders in future, absolutely right. Um, I think you're right as well. She, was, she wasn't a sort of classical feminist, but my goodness me, what a role model. And, in, and that, that, do you think that's her greatest legacy as a role model? Because you know, the phrase I've used, loved or loathed, uh, you, you, you could not ignore Margaret Thatcher. It would be fair to say, John Penrose, and I say this with the greatest respect to our current political class, there isn't anybody who has that sort of appeal or disappeal. Well, I, I mean, when she began, um, she didn't have the stature she finished up with. She, she grew into the role, she developed it. Um, and you know, history tends to look back and give people uh, you know, greater... Uh, an aura, uh, which you don't accord people at the time. But you're absolutely right as well. You know, she's a, she was a, probably a once-in-a-generation politician. Um, and it'll be interesting to see, you know, 50 years from now, how we assess um, David Cameron, David Miliband, Nick Clegg, um, and how they measure up. And I, I don't or or Ed Miliband, for that matter. <laughs> or Ed Miliband. My word, that's a Freudian split, isn't it, for you? <laughs> yes, I think, he's, I think the brother there is off. One's off to international rescue, one is the leader of the opposition. The, the, the other one's the, uh, the, the prince over the water, you're absolutely right. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see the, how what history's verdict is on the current crop of politicians, and, and I don't think anybody who's around today is going to have that perspective. But you're absolutely right. It wasn't just that she was a role model for women. I think also she did some amazing things both in Britain to make the country stronger. It was painful, but my goodness me, we came out of it you know, a, a stronger country than we were going into it. But also internationally, you know, forget all the stuff she did with Ronald Reagan on and, and President Gorbachev um, around the demise of the Soviet Union and in, in making sure that uh, Eastern Europe didn't in, in laying the seeds for, for that happening. It, it was an extraordinary time. The fall of communism. Yeah. Uh, John Penrose, we'll leave it there. Many thanks for your time this morning Thank here you. on BBC Radio Business.